Hello, and welcome to Microlocity. In today's video, I'm going to go over in detail on how I built my first diorama. Um, if you missed the first two videos of the um, diorama, I'll post them in the description below. Those are just um, uh, videos that show the build process with some music in the background. Uh, but today I'm going to go in a little more detail on how I built everything. So I'm going to try to go in the same order of the videos on um, how I'm going to describe this. So first thing I did was I took a half inch piece of plywood for my base. And then I tried to figure out my layout, which I changed as I was building it. The fence and the framing of the building uh, is wood that I uh, just got off an old pallet. I ripped them down on my table saw. I tried to do as close as I could to 1 64th scale. So I tried to make the post 4x4s and the pickets. I ripped them a little bit smaller than the 4x4s. I I wish I could have went smaller than it is, but that's all my uh, table saw would allow me to rip safely. So um, the the color on the fence isn't exactly what I had in mind at first, but I think it turned out pretty well. Um, I was going for a more rustic type look. If I think if I were going to build. Um, another diorama and try to do a nicer fence I would make all these one piece and mount them on the outside of the fence more like a traditional fence and then put all my pickets on the the building itself so I tried to build that as close to um, as I could to your traditional framing as far as the walls and stuff go, the, the roof, I didn't really do any type of framing for the roof, but... Um, and how I got my scale, I, I don't have a scaled roller. So basically I just kind of used this truck. And I kind of figured that that was like a, a six foot bed. So that's how I got my my six foot tall fence and then that's how I got my my scaling of basically everything else I just did a little bit of math and that's how I got all my spacing 16 in, 16 inch on center on my studs um, so I think it turned out pretty good um, so next what I did so after I framed the building is I glued, I'm trying to think what this stuff is called, but this is the um, the plastic material that um, that are like political signs, yard signs. Um, I was working on a job and the the homeowner was running for a local government and she threw a whole bunch of signs in our dumpster. So I grabbed a bunch out and this was actually left over from another project I've done. So that kind of explains the color. That wouldn't really be my first pick of color, but they were already painted and, um, and the paint looked pretty nice on it. So I just kind of left it go. So after I got the building built, I glued all the rocks down now the rocks, I just went out in my driveway and I smashed a whole bunch with rock or up with a hammer. And I wish they I would have squished them a little bit more, but I think it turned out okay for a junkyard. Um, let's see. Okay, after the rocks, I did the fence. So the <clears throat> the fence I had something else um, something different in mind. It just didn't work out. I was trying to solder 
the um, the metal together instead of using hot glue. This was the first time I really used a soldering gun, and I I, I don't think it was getting hot enough for one. Um, <clears throat> it just wasn't just wasn't working. the The metal pipes are actually wire that I hang um, acoustical ceiling from. Um, that's the ceiling that you would like see in an office building. So that part turned out okay. I just wish the the glue wasn't so visible. The chain link part is just a window screen. It's um, fabric, fabric window screen, like it's not metal. And the gate, I just drilled a hole in the plywood. I just left the post long. That way you can function. And something that did not make it in the video because I think I built everything and didn't realize that I wasn't I wasn't recording um, was the garage doors. Now the garage doors I wanted them to function, so they go they go up and down. And I built those out of the same material as the walls. Um, but I turned them the other way and I tried to just kind of folded them so they were rounded and I made them in a way so that I, I could remove these doors that way I can see the inside better because um, I'm gonna be adding some more detail on the insides but you can kind of see I just glued a piece of wood and kind of made a track for the door to slide in. And then I added um, I added this piece of wood here and that just keeps the door so it just doesn't fling straight up. It'll just it'll kind of keep its round uh, shape. And I could even open and close them with the, the roof on. So they work pretty good. Um, I would like to try a couple different ways. I have a couple different ideas that I like to try and see if I can make the design better. Um, on the inside I just bought a couple packs of the automotive uh, stuff from Greenlight and I want to add some more things inside. I'm just not sure what to do yet. Um, you can kind of see on the, the side of the van that little dark spot. I I dropped some oil on the floor to try to mimic oil stains and it really lightened up so I'm probably going to go back and um, try to darken those up a little bit. <clears throat> and then I I just made the roof out of the same material and I I wanted to come off easy. Um, that way I get, get some light inside also. And I just made a little sign, glued it up top. Uh, next, I think I did the oh the concrete. Um, the concrete is just a feather edge material. Uh, that's something I use for flooring if it's a little out of a um, little out of level or a little out of the kind of steps in the floor that I want to fill. Um, so it's basically just like a floor fill and this stuff you can spread it thin and it won't crack so that's why I decided to use that for this application and it seemed to work really well. Um, so I even did the, the, the sidewalk, the same material. The road, um, I've seen people use um, like asphalt shingles and that was a little thick for what I wanted and I also wasn't sure how to get the cracks and kind of make it look a little bit old with the asphalt shingles um, so this is just tar paper which goes under your shingles 
and I cut it to fit and I just crack, uh, ripped it so it just kind of looks like cracks and I think it turned out well and another reason why I decided to go with this um, so if in future in the future I want to make some videos and I'm gonna have vehicles actually moving on this and if you just drive this on a piece of wood like if I just painted this black it's really loud and this is more of a soft realistic sound to it so I kinda like that um, let's see what else did I do um, the I guess the the weeds and the grass that is the only thing that I purchased other than the um, the green light um, auto uh, t uh, the tools and stuff inside but um, that I bought at Hobby Lobby and just kind of scattered it throughout and glued that kind of where I thought it should be I tried to come up with my own ideas I mean I've seen videos um, of other people building um, dioramas but I try to kind of come up with my own things and I'm sure people have done this stuff before but um, it's, I do my best to try not to copy anyone else's ideas I tried to decorate the um, the junkyard with just some random stuff I had left over like I I rolled up some of the screen so it looks like some rolled up chain link fence I had one extra post left so I just leaned it in the corner I laid a piece on the ground I just laid some scraps of the walls in the roof back there a chunk of wood um, behind that the pink car I made a um, I made a rear axle out of just wire and then I made a couple um, coil springs and then I just had a couple pieces of other die cast cars laying around There's just some extra material um, the, the background I started to shoot this video and I thought it would look way better with um, some type of background so I had my I had my kids uh, make me a nice background for the diorama. So they they did a good job. And I think I covered everything. I would like to build some more dioramas in the future. I I don't really have anything in mind. Um, so if you have any any ideas of a diorama that you would like me to build uh, please comment below and maybe I will try to build it my main goal for the future is to build um, a few of these dioramas on these half inch plywood and that way I can kind of move them around on a larger table and try to make a, um, a like a cityscape and we'll we'll do some videos of cars driving around so I'm really happy of how the uh, how the whole thing turned out especially being my my first time I definitely learned a few things um, I would do a couple things different if I did it over again but that's all in the learning process it was a lot of fun it didn't really take me as long as I thought it would. I mean, I've been working on this for about two months, but maybe one night a week, you know, a little bit on a weekend. Um, so it wasn't too bad. My my channel started off with mostly diecast, my diecast collection, 
and I decided to build this just to um, display some of my my um, older cars that I had laying around and the two videos that I've already posted of the diorama have done really well compared to everything else I've done so I was kinda surprised that it was that popular I really appreciate you for watching and if you haven't seen the other two videos of the diorama like I said I'll post them below so you can check them out and comment below of a diorama idea and if you have any um, any tips I would gladly hear those also um, so I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you enjoyed the diorama, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.